Oh man. Oh man, the last power scaling video got people mad. People were upset, frustrated, and we got another one. Anime characters with the strongest punch from anime world. Oh boy, we I can't wait till we get to the 11 dimensional powers here. Let's go. First up, we have Kaido Shun. Uh, what is he about? His punch is so weak that you won't feel. <laughs> wait, this guy got. Wait, 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 wait. His punch is so weak that you can't feel it. Hold the fuck up. This is starting off pretty weak, but I, I I guess it makes sense in terms of like you know building up the levels of power scaling. But all right, that's uh the first guy. Next up. Oh shit! Your forger shown up. <laughs> Can break down a wall with the punch. Absolutely. Your forger assassin, right? She's like trained to be just a monster, physically gifted. Blood lad. Stas C dot blood. His punch can destroy the small building. Okay. So right now, in terms of power scaling, we have wall and we have small building, okay? Now, I understand we don't have wall plus or bigger wall, but a small building comes right after a wall. Okay, we got building levels right now. Next. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Akaza. His punch can destroy that large building. Okay. So we've gone from small building, skipped medium building. We're onto large buildings right now. Got it. Next up, Jojo, Jotaro Kujo. His punch can destroy the large. Hey, motherfucker, eat the same shit. Why is Kuj Why is Jotaro stronger than Akaza? Okay, who would win? Wait, wait. Who would win? Jotaro Kujo or Akaza? Who would win here? Without spoiling, like, who would win? Like, don't give me descriptions, but, like, Jotaro stronger? Jotaro easy? Damn, there's no fate for Demon Slayer, huh? <laughs> Jotaro... Oh, mass... Most people are agreeing Jotaro would defeat Akaza easily, huh? I mean, Akaza... We've seen him fight against Rengoku in you know, Mugen Train, but aside that... Uh, I don't know, man. Next up... Shingeki no Kyojin. The attack titan. His puns can destroy the city block. All right. The power scaling has now gone from walls to different size buildings. And now we're getting into city blocks. Which city block? I don't know. A big city. Maybe a small city. Here we go. Next up. Oh, shit. Yo. Yujiro Hama this early in? Isn't this guy supposed to be one of the strongest beings in the anime world? Baki. Yujiro Hanma. Can stop a six magnitude earthquake with one punch. Okay, okay, okay. Now the power scaling has transcended from buildings into natural, you know, disasters. So we got a six magnitude earthquake that is equivalent to a single punch. All right. Next one we have Sebas from Overlord. His punch can destroy. Us. So you're telling me Sebas stronger than Yujiro Hanma? Sebas? Stronger than the Attack Titan. Sebas? Stronger than Jotaro and Akaza. Well, not really. We're gauging a singular punch, right? We're not talking about matchups right now. Right? I, I, guys, guys, guys. We're not talking about matchups. We're not talking about what other characters counters others with powers, right? Single punch measurements. And his punch can destroy a small town. A six magnitude earthquake is not quite small town level, but Sebas, all right, incredible punch. Next up, Gon Freaks. His full charge, Jajan Ken, can destroy a city. So we have city block, we have earthquake, we have small town, then we have city. Next up, Kaiju 8. Yo, I bet Kafka Himino could destroy more than a mountain, man. What? Really? Just a mountain? Mountain. 7A? 7B? Alright. Okay, Kaiju 8. Oh, mountain tier punches. Next up. Oh, no, 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 no. Whenever I see Razor, we skip, we skip. No, 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 no. Get the fuck out of my screen, bitch. Get the fuck out of my screen, bitch. Get the fuck out of my screen. Get. You were there last tier. Okay, here we go. Get the fuck out of my face. Not Why the fuck is that girl showing up in every fucking tier list video, bro? She must be important then, huh? Okay, next one. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Toru. Her punch can destroy an island. We are at island level right now. 
Mountain? No. We got a fucking island. Then we have our favorite 9 to 5 minimum wage worker. Izuku Midoriya. That's right. You too can turn the fryers on if you try hard enough, Deku. His puns can destroy a small country plus. Oh, shit. All right. We're getting the plus. We're, we're getting the plus post fix right here. Remember, guys, what does a plus mean? It means that it's a little ambiguous, but they can exceed a small country and a little bit more. Okay. Then we have Mush from Mushle. His punch can destroy a large country. Okay. All right. Mash over Izuku. Oh, shit. We got the Monkey D. Luffy here. His punch can destroy a continent. We've exceeded a country level. And we're now getting to continent levels. All right. Beyond the small, medium, large country, we have continents. After continents, we should be getting into planets, right? Or maybe just the moon. Maybe multiple continents. Oh, shit. We got Boros, bro, from One Punch, man. His punch sends everyone below him to the fucking moon. And this is an actual fact, right? Saitama versus Boros. Boros literally launched Saitama to the fucking moon. And Saitama was like, oh, shit, I'm on the moon? Wait, I can't breathe here. Hold up. Let me just go back. This is an actual fact. Not even pulled out of his ass. It was a kick? True. Actually, you know what? Was it a kick instead of a punch? Hold on a second. Fraudulent. Fraudulent. A kick is stronger than a punch. Therefore, this is fraudulent. Next up. Yusuke Urameshi. His punch can destroy a moon. All right. We're actually on moon tier now. All right. We are officially on moon tier. Next. Naruto. His punch can also destroy a moon. All right. We're still on the moon tiers, huh? Naruto can't... I mean, again, it's, it's a single punch, right? It's a single punch. Not like talking about different techniques. We're talking about single punch. Which means Saitama should be like at the very end, right? Saitama should be at the very fucking end. If we're talking about one... He is literally the one punch man. Or maybe the guy from Tower of God. Yo, remember the Baldi? The Inferno Baldi? Where every time he would monologue... With this secret infernal punch, I will defeat anything. And he always gets off screen. I don't think he's going to make it to the list. Next. Hyodo Issei can destroy a planet with a punch at full power. I can see that. Yeah, I, I can see that. Issei does have some crazy techniques, but his single punches, you know, booby power. Sure, I can see that. Next up. Record of Ragnarok. Bald? Not really. He's got a bald mohawk. His punch is comparable to the destruction of the planet. Okay, we've surpassed moon levels with, you know, Issei Hyodo. We got Zeus here. Like, actual Greek mythology? Zeus? Okay, he, he, got, he got a punch that can blow up a planet. Now, what's beyond planet level? Stars, right? Saiki Kusuo from Saiki K can destroy a planet without limiters. I mean, he's literally just, like, flying through this right now. Wait, I, I thought this guy was all about fucking 4 coma psychic powers. What's going on here? But, uh, he simply just flies across a planet. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 <laughs> Should we be... Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this and tell me if it's a spoiler. We got Jujutsu Kaisen showing up with Toto Aoi Senpai. So, like, I'm warning you guys. There's a Jujutsu Kaisen spoilers happening, and it's up to you if you want to read it. I'm going to put it up on screen. You guys read it and let me know if, I, if it is something I should skip or not. So, it's over here. Should I skip it or not? Like, this bitch is going beyond the planet level. Skip? Skip? Spo okay, okay, we're skipping. We're skipping all the way till... Okay. It's that bad? <laughs> all right. All right. Toriko! Yo, isn't this the Master Chef anime? It's the Food Wars, right? Not not the Food Wars, but like, it's a battle shonen. It, it's like, well, I don't know if Food Wars is battle shonen. I don't think it is, but this this one looks more battle shonen, right? His punch could destroy a large star. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Saitama, his punch can destroy countless stars and probably galaxies. Galactic level tier. Galaxy is 3C. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> we're at the 3C level right now. And of course, we have Son Goku. Kakarot. His punches can destroy the universe. So beyond the galaxy is the universal tier. I understand. Okay, okay. We got countless stars and probably galaxies, but Goku can definitively destroy universe. Sure. Now, I, I wonder, right? Because like... Th this is gonna get a lot of people mad, right? Like, people will be absolutely just mauling in the comment section. And that's what I'm preying on. The more you retards argue in a comment section about fictional characters and whether or not they can beat each other, all that does is improve my engagements and sends better signals to the algorithm, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> so you guys fight on, but like, for sure, this is gonna be a thing. Now, Saitama versus Goku, who would win? Let's have a genuine conversation here. Saitama versus Goku. Let's think about what kind of character they are, right? I think that like, as much as I don't want to believe it, it's going to be Goku. And hear me out. Because everything at the end of the day has to do with like, the core of their characters, right? Like what the characters represent. Saitama is an upper limit. An infinite limit. And yes, it's hard to surpass infinity, but bear with me, right? He's supposed to represent the ceiling that is so unapproachable. The battle against Garo actually in the manga, in the redrawn version, there's even a graph, a, a, a graph representing Saitama's power levels and how it does scale very high when he gets excited, right? It, it scales very high. Garo is keeping up, but Saitama doesn't really seem to have a limit and he keeps going, right? Because he's removed the limiters, right? That's the character that Saitama is. And he's also a gag character, but that's besides the point. Now let's think about Goku. Goku's entire concept is about surpassing the impossible, right? Like, this character is a bullshit character because he will lose against Saitama in the beginning. But his entire character is about overcoming, trying over, over, and then eventually he'll unlock a new form that surpasses the impossible. Right? So conceptually, with these themes, I think this is the main talking point of why Goku beats Saitama and why a lot of people get mad at it because they're not really trying to understand what each character is supposed to represent. And some people will then default into saying, well, you know, Saitama's a gag character. He's not even supposed to be serious. But like, just again, just think about what each character represents. Saitama's supposed to be this upper limit, this impossible threshold that you can't even measure. But some being as Goku that's supposed to surpass the impossible, it's just, you know, it, 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 it's, it's just bullshit. And like, you could argue that like, okay, well, Goku is simply going to keep surpassing, like gonna get ahead. And what, what about Saitama's limits? Does he have any? That, I'm not sure. Because, like, in the battle against Garo, he kept going up and up. And there was no actual limit seen. In fact, this limit is seen as infinity. And now, mathematically, you can't really surpass infinity, right? Like, infinity times two is still infinity. It's this limit. It's this abstract concept of numbers where the numbers get so big that it's just this biggest thing ever. But then, could you then, from that mathematical standpoint, argue that... Someone like Goku that's supposed to surpass a specific threshold cannot ever reach that simply because it is infinite threshold. Now, that is a pretty good talking point. If you are like a Saitama fan, right? If you are a Saitama fan, this is the way that I would approach this topic, right? There's this thing called absolute infinity. <laughs> all right, all right, whatever, okay? You fucking turbo nerds can argue amongst yourselves about these infinity theories. But if you genuinely wanted to have like a conversation on who would win, in the beginning, as I've explained, you know, Goku's whole theme is about surpassing the impossible. But then you could also counter that by saying, well, how do you determine what that impossible is if the limit is never seen? So they would, what, continuously just keep battling and they would keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger until Goku surpasses and Saitama surpasses? I I'm not sure. I I I'm not really sure. But it is a definite, a huge discussion, right, in the, in the power scaling fandom of who things could beat who. Next up. Who the fuck is Wang Ling? Okay. <laughs> Why the fuck is a random character I've never heard of before showing up above Son Goku and Saitama? <laughs> Wang Ling, the daylife of the Immortal King. <laughs> His punch can destroy the several. <laughs> Alright, sure. <laughs> sure, Wang Ling. <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> Oh shit! It's the multiverse shit again with Rimuru, bro. 
Yo, guys, are you guys happy now? I, I know that Rimuru was done dirty in the last power scaling, right? I know that a lot of people are like, oh, this, this Tensura slander, I will not have it. Ooh, like Tensura being underlooked. It's like, guys, relax. Enemy world heard you guys. And he put Tensura up here, okay? It's, it's, it's the strongest punch ever, okay? Oh, wait. Rimuru got surpassed. Anti-spiral. The fucking opposite of a human god or, you know, fucking the FM8 guy thing. <laughs> we have the dark human god, Anti-Spiral, his punch. Oh shit, we got the 11th dimension. <laughs> we got 11th dimensional. Okay, explain to me how Gurren Lagann... Okay, does 11th dimensional concept exist in Gurren Lagann? Tell me. Well, like, 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 I thought 11th dimension system is more with index. Do they actually explain the 11D multiverse in Gurren Lagann? If so, I will concede. But I thought 11D was specific to Tuaru Magical Index. So like, how could you possibly... How could you possibly say 11D? Like, does this, this, this it ever... Is he Captain? <laughs> Anyways, there you have it, guys. Here is the roster of characters. On single punch, guys. Remember, don't think about fucking random matchups, okay? We're thinking one punch and how that will basically, you know, be rated in the tier list. But please, go give Mr. Anime World a like on the video, sub to his channel if you haven't, and I will see you on the next one. And I guarantee, if any of you motherfuckers start sending hate comments or getting mad in this guy's chat, I'm gonna ban you from my own channel, dude. I'm not having any of that shit.